Okay, guys, V Santiago 113 again. Uh, to continue the video where I left it, uh, let's continue. Okay, I found uh, I got an error. We need to tape is kernel 32 equals C types when they allow that when they allow that kernel 32. That fix. Remember, and here I made a mistake. Is C types that when they allow that kernel 32. This is right now. I I forgot this in the previous video. Okay, and there is two more that we have to do on here. We already finished this one. So the next one was reprocess memory. This is all the information, what the handle, each of them, what each of them is. Is right here. Mm -hmm. One thing that I want to do, let's put it on here just in case you guys can help me out with this, is that I wanted to do pointer offset. But I couldn't. Uh, make this work like I was thinking like probably you give it a, a p base address right and then it gets it gets to where it points at and it adds that to the to the offset and it gives you a new base address I couldn't make it I haven't been able to make it work yet so I need to spend a little more time on this. I put it on there in case you guys can help me out and set it up. Uh, now let's go. Let's move on with the reprocess memory. Okay, here uh, to read from the memory, you need to give it a handle and you need to give it an address where it's going to read from. And that is the uh, LP base address. Base, base, uh, LP base address. Okay. So you give it a handle that we create on here, and when then you give it the address that is going to read from. Okay. And now on this one, let's uh. Okay. Let's say okay. Try. Okay. Now, on here. We, because we need to catch exceptions and something goes wrong we're gonna catch exception later let me let's continue here just remember inside these two or yeah let's continue with them. inside these two with let's say LP base address is equals LP why I do this because we don't want to keep using the same name you can have whatever name here just doesn't matter but I want to use the same as Windows use in case I need to go back and reference something that I forgot what it means I go to the Windows API website and find all the information on here so now we're gonna create a buffer C types C U integer I think this is right yeah SQL nothing because we are just reading if you want to know what is the LP base address and the LP buffer we are creating, remember everything is here. LP buffer, P base address, the H process, everything is here. Just go back for reference. So the LP buffer is equal C types. And now I, this one is going to pass by reference. It's going to be the read buffer. Okay, so we pass that one for different, and then the end side is going to be equal C, C types uh, size soft. Again, this is, we set this one, we pass with buffer by reference to the LP buffer, and then the, we set the end size same size as the read buffer. Let me point something in here, like no, it's going to be in the next one, in the, in the bright memory. Oh, what I won't forget. Let me just, I don't want to have error, tape errors on here. So, okay, that one is equals LP number of bytes read. It's equals C types dash C. 
all you learn and we set this zero okay so now we have all of this ready now that that section we keep going on here and now we're gonna have this same thing over there so we can copy all, all of this we can put it on here Um uh, I know I know uh, shouldn't do this. But well, it's okay. It's okay guys, I'm sorry. I know shouldn't do done it this way. I shouldn't do it this way. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so we got it. Uh, I just copy and paste. You need exactly the same thing that is here. You need it in here. But without a C++ other stuff. It's all the, this is the only thing you need. So if all of this works out, you need to get the value from the buffer that you're reading from. If this, if you're trying to get the hmm, something wrong here. Oh, my exception goes one back. If you're trying to read the ammo, that's a that's a read buffer. So you, that's a read buffer is the ammo and the value. If you have 20 rounds, you're getting the 20 rounds, on, which is the value. That, that's that's what I'm do. That's what we're doing on there. So now if everything works out, you get the value on that exception. Just saying in case we get a buffer error, uh, we get a value error, which I th that we get a value error here. I know I put it here a tape error. We won't get tape error. We can get a value error if no we we might only have we might only probably have a buffer error that's all everything we can have from there anything else okay let's say I'm sorry okay close handle if we get any of these exceptions over there buffer error value error or tape error we're going to close the handle we created on here so it, it, it closes right away so we get an error, we close the handle. And then we're gonna say E for error. You can type any name you want on there. Handle, close, error. And we're gonna say edge process and last error. And then we're gonna say return E. If we get any of these error, we close the, the handle with output this and we said we output the the handle and then we uh, we i'm sorry we 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 output when we return this and we output something we output that last error and the edge process the number you get from that get last error you look at um, uh, microsoft errors on, on the website and it tells you what error is now the other one we're going to be doing is going to be right process. I already had it on here. So we can close this one already. Uh, it's going to be right process memory. Let's copy this one and paste it in here. Okay, on here we're going to give it the process handle. We're gonna give a LP the, uh, an address and also a value because remember we are writing to it. That's why we give it a value. And now we're gonna say, I'm sorry, LP base address. Okay. 
And then we're gonna say I'm sorry Values equals LP base address is equals LP base address and value is equals value Okay, and now we're gonna say Buffer is equals C tapes dancing. Okay, now we create a buffer and we give the buffer the same value that we are passing. If we have ammo, we have 20, and we want to write 100, so we create a buffer and we give it 100 more rounds to our ammo. So that's that's going to be the value what we're writing to it. So when we had the LP buffer, and then but the same we did on on the read one, we passed the write buffer by reference. Pass the the LP buffer by reference, and then the end size again. The same one we were doing over here, and we give it the same size as a read buffer. So we now we give I'm sorry, same size as a write buffer. And the last one is this one, this big one right here. I want to copy and paste. I don't want to have any mistakes in here. Okay, this one is gonna be the time. see, same one you long, same one as here, and we give it zero. Okay, you want to know like OP number of bytes writing? You go in here and say pointed to a variable. Means no parameter is ignored. Okay, so this is all information you need to know. It's right there. Okay, and now we're gonna say. Right. So remember down here I copy and paste and I'm, I won't do that again. I'm gonna actually tape everything on here. I already had that one on there. I'll be so right. Okay. Okay, we have write exactly the same thing we have on there. Um, remember, we need to have this in a in an in a exception. Okay, exception tape error. To know if you have there is problem, you go and check module. Um, do you see? Found one on here because size t. That's why it's not. Uh, it's never good copy and paste. Oh, this is because we need to go in here indent right there. Uh, shake module because we haven't actually write anything here yet because it's the same as here. Just copy and paste all of this in here and now we need to tape exactly the same we have in here Let's tape it in here that's it because the same if you get an error on here you might get a buffer error you can get a value error if instead of integers you you try to write a let's say a string or a different if there are integer flow something you get a value error tape error if you yeah you probably tape like a string you get tape error on there value error or tape error whatever and now to finish we need to say you know we, we need to finish up our our class and you guys should already know this either right, you create a class you need to call it cl this class you know create finish creating the class somewhere our class name is read write memory so you go in here and you say i for us a shortcut because you want you not want to tape like like read write memory that write process memory make it shorter i have rwm that write process memory makes it better so 
R for read, write, W for write, and M for memory. Read, write, memory is equal to read, write, memory. And um, okay, uh, I forgot two on here, which is reprocess memory. And the other one is okay. See another error. Everything seems good now. Okay, okay. So here we have our our module. It's complete. Um, in the next video, I explain you more. I want to stop this video here. Everything should be working right now. So uh, please remember to share and subscribe. In the next video, we're going to test if this works or not. So remember, share, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye.